Thanks so much for stopping by and joining me. And today I'm going to kind of do a little quick tutorial, or hopefully it's quick, on how to package and mail um, heavily embellished cards. And so I have two samples right here. This card I created, and this one was one that was created for me from Kelly, who is Creative Curiosities here on YouTube. And you can both see that both of these are heavily embellished cards. And there's a couple different ways you can mail cards. Often when I make heavily embellished cards and mail them, I'm already sticking them in a box. And so what I do just to protect them is I would just take some bubble wrap and I would go ahead and just wrap it around my card and then tape it um, with some good tape. Usually I like to use um, like this type of packing tape that you can buy at Walmart or um, pretty much anywhere it seems like you can buy that kind of tape. And so I would just tape tape it very carefully around the card and then throw it in my box. Um, so that's one easy way to mail your stuff if you're sending it already in a box. Of course another way is is you can buy little square boxes. Um, this one's a little bit too deep and I didn't have one that was the right size. But just for example purposes is um, you could mail mail a card like this in a box and I would go ahead before I put the card in there I would put some sort of packing in there like this um, to, to nest in there and send my card that way but if you're not going to be creating a or using a box I figured I'd show you guys also how you can mail stuff um, you can of course wrap it in bubble wrap and then put it into a bubble wrap envelope and usually that works pretty well. I haven't had too many cards that I know of that have fallen apart doing it that way and so I do that most of the time with my stuff. But um, the other option, and I'll show you guys here, I'll just use Kelly's card because hers is a little bit easier to show you guys, is what I would do is I cut two pieces of cardboard and they have to be bigger than your, the card, or at least I find that that works the best. Um, I'm going to set the card on one of the pieces of cardboard. And then what, what you want to do is kind of see how high, you can either measure up with a ruler, see how high the embellishments goes, or just kind of guesstimate. And I cut a whole bunch of pieces of um, cardboard. And what I'll want to do is just kind of layer them. And I'll eventually glue them together, but for right now, I'm just going to layer them to get the height that I need. And I want it to be at least the same height or slightly greater than what I've embellished with. And then for this one, I could also go ahead and one, two, it looks like there's four pieces here. Um, I could put four pieces up in this corner also. Then also up in this corner, I'm going to have to cut those down, it looks like. It looks like I'm going to have to cut most of these down a little bit. So I'm just going to snip some pieces off here on these cardboard. And I'm just using um, an old utility scissors to cut my cardboard. And all I'm doing is um, creating kind of a little bit of a cushion and I just, every card you make or that you do this with is going to be different depending upon how you've decorated it. Um, that's pretty good. This one just a little bit. So that's all we're doing is just creating a cushion for our flower or embellished area. And these don't have to be exact, guys. They can just be um, just be eyeballed. They don't have to be perfect. All, like I said, all you want to do is just make sure it's taller than your your embellished area. Great way to recycle and use up some of that packaging material also. Um, sometimes you can get little foam pieces um, that you could lay in there too and you wouldn't have to cut up pieces of cardboard. That works also. Um, but this now should fit into there pretty good. And so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and glue these layers together. Um, so I will do that real quick. So 
So as you can see, I have glued four layers of cardboard together for this particular one. Um, you are going to want to let these dry before you go on to the next step, but um, since I'm just doing this quick tutorial, I'm not going to worry about it, but um, they will shift and move if you start doing this part right away. So that's why you do want to make sure that they dry. So again, I'm just going to kind of lay them where I want them to go on here. And so right now, what I'm going to do now is just use some just some sort of double stick tape. It just, it doesn't have to be permanent tape. It doesn't have to be your expensive tape. I just want to make sure when I put it, it's gonna glue into the right spot. So what I'm gonna do here, and if you trust yourself, you could put glue on it on the top layer right now, but um, I just like to make sure. So I just use the tape for right now. And so what I'll do then is go ahead and lay this right on top. And so I'm just going to press down. So hopefully those two little pieces or those three pieces are going to stick to this side of the, the paper. So I'm going to set this aside. And then I'm going to glue these down on here. But what I'll do first is just kind of trace, trace these. So then I know, um, so of course you could just use them, leave them taped down, but I don't always trust cheap tape. So, and I don't like to waste my good tape. Um, so I'll just go ahead and glue them down. And like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect because this is just packaging. So I went ahead and pulled this off. And so I'm gonna add glue now to this one. You know, I did have that small piece of tape on there that was just temporarily holding it in place. And I'll go ahead and glue this into place there. Do the same thing up here. So again, you're going to want to make sure that you let that dry um, just because you don't want any glue to actually seep on your project or do anything bad to it. So that's kind of what we have here. And again, I would let it dry, but just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and not do that and so what you're going to want to do then is just go ahead and flip it back over and just nest it kind of in your card so all of your little heavily embellished areas are protected you can kind of see that with my layers and then I will go ahead and take um, some heavy duty tape which again, doesn't have to be your good crafting tape, just um, some packing tape. And we're just going to sandwich these two pieces together. Just like that. And we're going to do that on all four sides. So now I've taped on all four sides and you can see there's that card's not moving inside. And I have it protected. All the flowers are protected and the heavily embellished areas are protected because I had those layers of chipboard right there. And then whenever the lucky recipient gets this beautiful card, all they have to do is just trim, you know, on a couple pieces of this, of this tape. And they'll be able to open it up and no damage will have been done to the card. So then they can just lift it up like that and then here's their card. So it's that simple. And then what you would do then after you 
did like let's say have this packaged and mailed then you could go ahead and um slip it into an envelope so i didn't do that before i opened it up again but you could slip it into your envelope and then mail it to whoever it's going to so hopefully that um explains a little bit better about how i mail some of my um heavily embellished cards if i'm not setting it in a box or I'm not wrapping it in bubble wrap in another bubble wrap envelope. Um, this would be the best way that I know how to to send um, heavily embellished cards. So again, like on this card, um, I just use Kelly's card here just because that was um, easiest to show you. But on this one, what I would have done is I would have just cut smaller squares on this card that I created. And I would have built up um, in this little sector here and I would have built up um, across this whole sector back here um, to build up my card or the little layer. So hopefully that makes sense. If you guys have any questions, um, please let, let me know. But otherwise, hopefully I answered um, a question for a few of you guys on how I mail my um, heavily embellished cards. So thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.